Matt. Skip, could I ask you to step up there for a minute? Do you think uh, this is such a, a, a loud voice on the part of voters that it that lawmakers in charge of the legislature may try to bypass the voters uh, from now on because they just can't get what they, they want? That may happen. They would be incredibly foolish to do that after losing at the polls so badly. But uh, there are precedents, and they may do that. That was, that was their intent at the beginning of the long session, to impose this tax statewide at a much higher rate. And uh, even at this lower rate, uh, four cents, uh, 40 cents on the, what is it, four, tri a tripling. Four percent tripling. Right. They went tripling the tax instead of increasing it uh, six times. Uh, even at this lower rate, it's resoundingly defeated. But the House leadership, time after time, will kill proposals that have 80 percent public approval or defeat a pro, uh, or pass a pro, uh, proposals that have negative public opinion. They just really don't care what the public thinks. Absolutely. Harnett, and she worked in Chatham. Chris Farr led our operations in Chatham over the weekend. I think those people are sleeping in. Today. Yeah, I, I mean. think they are. We do have a group of four from Asheville who left at 5 a.m. They did not have the referendum in Buncombe County, so they fanned out and worked in the surrounding mountain counties. All right. This is for Dallas. Uh, the six counties that. Uh, have deferred the decision until May. Do you expect the same kind of fight in the spring? We hope that they will rethink whether they need that fight or not. It seems like to me they would be better spent examining their budgets and their priorities and taking a good swift eraser to them. So how is Americans for Prosperity going to stand here on out in Wake County specifically? Do we have a crisis? We do not have a cry. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will I will not accept that premise that there's a crisis in Wake County. We have plenty of money in Wake County. We just passed a billion dollar bond referendum. Uh, we know that um, I asked Russell Capps here who leads an Americans for Prosperity affiliated chapter with the Wake County Taxpayers Group to be here today because we had Tony Commissioner, uh, excuse me, Wake County Commissioner Tony Gurley say we needed to see what happened in other places. He said that before. Well, I think Tony's got the message that there's just not an appetite for this tax increase. You know, we worked hard to defeat that school bond last year because we wanted fundamental reform in the school system. I want to know what the Wake County school system has done to protect the taxpayer since that bond passed last year. Have we pushed hard to get more charter schools? Have we looked at more public-private partnerships? Have we examined better ways to build schools? Or are we still building schools like uh, Briar Creek Elementary with the three-story stone atrium to nowhere? I'm not convinced that Wake County has done all it can to protect the taxpayers. And I tell you what, they put a land transfer tax on the ballot. It'll get beat, and so will some of the commissioners. I thank you all for coming today, and I'd like to also thank on behalf of the taxpayers of North Carolina, the realtors and the North Carolina home builders who have been demagogued like I have never seen in my life for a bunch of private citizens that spent their own money to protect home buyers. And I know that we all appreciate it here because without them and without these armies of grassroots people, we might have all lost some equity in our homes. And so we appreciate them standing up. And one thing, no matter what the big government people said, that the people at home understood, this tax was paid for by people like this, not realtors and not developers. This was a tax on home ownership. It was a tax on consumers. It was a tax on the American dream. Russell? Russell Capps, Wake County Taxpayer Association, a good I think if anything on. happened last night, it shows that if the people are informed on the issues, they take the right stand. The problem that so many times is that the people are not informed on the issues. When the people are informed, they make the right decisions. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all coming out here today, and I'll be around for a few minutes, and uh, have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for all y'all do. Thank you.